Ever since 343 released the new Halo teaser, there's been a ton of discussion and predictions about what's going to happen in the next Halo. Chris from the Halo 5 followers channel has numerous videos with tons of information and discussion, so I really recommend checking them out among the many other videos talking about Halo 5. In watching dozens of videos about these predictions, I came up with my own idea that I really haven't seen anybody touch on yet about what could possibly pan out in the Halo saga. Now of course, all of what I have to say, and what anyone else has to say about it right now, is only speculation and really just food for thought. Now before I get into the possibility of Cortana coming back as a human, I want to firstly talk about her coming back in general. Many have noticed by now that it seems that Chief is holding what appears to be Cortana's AI chip, probably either dormant or corrupted. This left many thinking that Chief is probably looking for some way to restore Cortana, either by finding Dr. Halsey or using some sort of Forerunner technology. Now what kind of burst my bubble for a little bit is that Chris from Halo 5 followers points out that Cortana's chip is destroyed on the Didact ship as she was still residing in the ship's systems. But before you feel too hopeless about it, it might not matter too much that it was destroyed. Many times throughout all of the games, Cortana shows that she can operate independently of her physical chip. The best example of which is shown in the intro of Halo 3, where Johnson finds Cortana's chip still in Chief's helmet what Cortana is missing since she is still on the Covenant's ship, High Charity. Where is she, Chief? Where's Cortana? Don't make a girl a promise, if you know you can't keep it. So the physical chip may not matter. For instance, if I have data on a flash drive and transfer it to my computer, the flash drive can be destroyed no problem since the data is now independent of it. I can get a new flash drive and transfer it back, no problem. Just keep your head down. On a related point, Cortana says in the end that Most of me is down there. Referring to the ship. So it might be possible that they could retrieve her from the debris of the Didact's ship and reconstruct her. I'm getting you out of here. <laughs> No, no, you're not. No, don't let her go. Don't ever let her go. But anyways, with all of that being said, most of you are already very familiar with the various theories of how Cortana may be brought back. But now I want to ask the question of if she could come back as a human. And, if I do say so myself, I think there's something to it. Also, major props to Oom9 um or Oom9 um on DeviantArt who did this fantastic recoloration of Cortana. You can check out his work, uh, his photo is linked in the description below. Many people, including the producers of the games themselves, have said that Cortana is one of the most human, if not the most human, character in Halo 4. It's the whole dynamic irony of Chief being an enhanced human but acting more like a machine, and Cortana being the artificial intelligence but becoming much more human as she faces her mortality. Before this is all over, promise me you'll figure out which one of us is the machine. Both of them begin to struggle to find what it means to be human in Halo 4. I read one YouTube comment a while back that made a really good point in Cortana's symbolism. It read, It's interesting to see how closely attached Cortana is to her hologram. While nobody is around, she still decides to express herself via her hologram and make it look at her surroundings. Manifesting her hologram while nobody is watching is completely unnecessary, but shows how closely she identifies herself as an actual human being. Overall, it's quite obvious that she identifies herself as human. Yes, one could argue that her human form may just be there for the sake of telling the story and not just having a floating voice. But think about it. If there wasn't something more, then why isn't she just a floating voice in the suit, much like Jarvis is from the Iron Man movies? So I really do believe that the symbolism is there in Cortana projecting her human form. Even regardless of the symbolism, we know from the plot that Cortana obviously wants to be human. John. I've waited so long to do that. 
Random side note, that's not exactly the first time Cortana's tried to do that. In Halo Legends Origins 2, she also projects herself as a human-sized hologram and basically gives Chief a no-touchy kiss when he's in the cryo chamber as they're still stranded on the dawn. I can give you over 40,000 reasons why I know that sun isn't real. I know it because the emitter's Rayleigh effect is disproportionate to its suggested size. I know it because its stellar cycle is more symmetrical than that of an actual star. But for all that, I'll never actually know if it looks real, if it feels real. We also know that Cortana was made from real living brain tissue cloned from Dr. Halsey, whereas under normal circumstances, the brain donor for an AI construct must be deceased as the organ itself is destroyed in the cognitive impression modeling process. If Cortana were to become human in form, it would have to involve some sort of forerunner technology, and we've seen how the forerunners have combined organic and digital life in the Prometheans. We also hear from the librarian what I think is a really, really important and relevant point relating to all of this, that the original intent for the composer was to indeed actually link organic and digital life. In the Forerunner's quest for transcendence, the composer had been intended to bridge the organic and digital realms. It would have made us immortal. But its results soured. The stored personalities fragmented, and our attempts to return them to biological states created only abominations. It may be possible that, for instance, with the help of Dr. Halsey, to utilize and refine the type of technology used in the composer to make it work properly. Also, I think it's relevant to point out that in many books, much literature, and storylines, we see the biblical theme of life versus knowledge. It could be possible that the forerunners focused on attaining immortality and never aging rather than simply bridging digitally encrypted data back to organic life. Speaking of outside storylines, this will be a spoiler alert. For those who have seen Tron Legacy, we do see that the originally digital life form of Korra becomes human when Sam and Korra travel back to the physical world. Moving back to Halo, in the Spartan Ops series, we see that the artifact can approach bridging this gap between digital and organic life as it appears to digitize an individual, only to transport them to another location, reconstructing them into an organic human form from that digital data. Lastly, it appears that in Halo Legends Origins 1, that the Forerunners do store organic life in a digital form and use those catalogs to repopulate the ancient species on their homeworlds. The Forerunners had cataloged, stored, and protected population samples from the Halo effect. They repopulated worlds, rebuilt that which they had torn down, and receded life. So, do I think that Cortana is coming back in the next Halo? Um, the short answer would be yes. I think it'll definitely be a struggle for them to bring her back, but at some point I'm sure they will succeed in doing so. Now, as far as her coming back as a human, I don't know, it's all speculation at this point, but I certainly think that there's a lot of good evidence to show that the plot may turn in that direction. So I mean, it is indeed important for the Halo series that Cortana does remain in a digital format to be able to control things like Forerunner technology and even human technology. But as far as Cortana becoming human, it could be some sort of big conclusion for the Halo saga. I mean, it's all possible at this point. Again, a lot of strong evidence to show that it may go down that path, but hey, I could be completely wrong. Even if Cortana is able to be restored to a stable digital state, something tells me that she'll end up becoming dissatisfied with that once again. And also furthermore, I just feel that 
if they were to draw out this sort of love story between Master Chief and Cortana a bit too much, it's gonna start feeling pretty awkward if it's a love story between Master Chief, who's a human, and Cortana, who's an artificially intelligent hologram. Again, we're only going off of what we've seen in Halo 4 and some of the previous Halos, and just one stinking teaser trailer, man. I mean, there's certainly a lot of Halo to come. 343 Industries had been referring to this next set of Halo games as the Reclaimer Trilogy, but uh, from my knowledge, they had started referring to it and changed it to the Reclaimer Saga, so there is a lot more to come, guys, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this expanded your thinking about, you know, what could be possible in the next few Halos. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Don't make a girl a promise. If you know you can.